Ladies and gentlemen, that was the stinkiest game I have ever seen. Oh my god. Chelsea somehow winning at home at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League against London rivals West Ham 1-0. Poor performances, a game where absolutely everybody was falling asleep and being repelled by the mere stench. The stench of this football match. Oh my god, it was so bad. It was so bad. Ponderous, lackluster, uninspired, no energy. So much stuff was going wrong. And um, we saw Jorginho miss one of the worst boy it was one of the worst penalties i've ever seen we saw a red card though so there were, i mean missed penalty and a red card sounds exciting and then obviously a late winning goal from substitute christian pulisic assisted by uh, marcus alonso left wing back look man let's take a look at these teams oh by the way like and subscribe <laughs> cheers mate nice one um right Let's have a look at this tragic piece of crap. <laughs> Sorry, man. I absolutely... Look, make no bones about it. This game was terrible. But we won. As you can see, David Moyish played a heavily rotated side. He had Rice, Bowen, and Lanzini all on the bench. He also had didn't use Antonio. Um, yeah, he basically um, played a pretty darn second string side. Obviously, West Ham are having a European adventure in the Europa League. Good luck to him, I say. London rivals, whatever. Like, it's a fun story. <laughs> So they rotated, and I was like, cool, we're playing a strong side, we're at home, West Ham are playing a weakened side, they don't care about the Premier League anymore, everything's gonna be alright, uh, we played Mendy and Go. Now, Christensen was supposed to start, he had a tummy ache, he, uh, so Trev Chalaba comes in, um, Silva is flanked by Chalaba, and Azpilicueta moves over to left centre back, fine, formidable, everybody's happy to see that back free baby girl, we're loving it, we're feeling good, we're fine. What we're not fine is with is hearing that Reese James is injured again, and we're now thinking about Reese James and long-term recurring injury problems. Nish sir good. So we had the Jorginho Kante midfield pivot of underwhelming performances. Mason Mount, as you can see there, was 6.7 rating. Certainly didn't have his best game. He's been in good form recently. Loftus-Cheek, I did like a right wing back. One of the very few things I did like in this game. And it was only at times. And it was only... Okay, it was very fleeting. A few moments when I went, Oh, he looks good there, like he has before. Alonso, left wing back, had to endure, of course, the opposition fan chance, murderer, and all those, you know, I mean, unsavory chance that you get, apparently, with all, all football grounds. Obviously, now Chelsea have only got the season ticket holders in the ground. At Stamford Bridge, you can hear it all a lot more. Whether that gets to him more, I don't know why he got an assist. I mean, Alonso tends to do well in adversity. He got a yellow card. He got an assist for the winner. Uh, so, of course, we had the front two of Havertz and Werner with Mason Mount kind of like at the tip of a diamond in behind, which which is looked like our best attack. To be honest, it was our best attack last season. Is how we started the Champions League final. Obviously, slightly different in terms of shape. But... Um, so we've, we've reverted to type. Substitutes, we saw Ziyech and Lukaku and Pulisic who ran in and got the goal. <gasps> Should we look at the stats? Oh, let's look at the stats. Um, blah, 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 blah. We had 20. Sweet. How did we have 26 shots in that game? 26 shots. Have I missed something? That is wild. 26 shots to their six. I felt it was much more even. With the uh, satanic 666 six, six, six possession. Um, 88. More dribbles, more aerials. I'm surprised more aerials, actually. Despite all this, it felt crap. Really bad and boring. Let's have a look at the timeline. Declan Rice comes on for Mark Noble in the 62nd minute. And that nothing happened before that hour mark. And even then, nothing was going on. Nothing was happening. We had about 30 seconds at some point before that. Where I was like, oh, we've got a pulse. We've woken up. Something's happening. And then it stopped. And then I went back to sleep. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Bowen comes on. Declan Rice comes on. So they've rested these players. But they thought, oh, let's try and nick it at the bridge. 
We make changes. We take off Roman Loftus Cheek, Timo Werner, and Kai Havertz, and we bring on Hakim the Dream and Romelu, who try you know sometimes link well, and Christian Pulisic to run in and try and finish off chances, which he did. Uh, Said Ben Rama comes off for Lanzini, so they get Lanzini, Bowen, and Rice on. Marcus Alonso gets his yellow. Craig Dawson gets a red card because Romelu Lukaku rolls him. He gets pulled back. He's denying a clear goal uh, scoring opportunity, which of course is reviewed on VAR. <clears throat> Sends him off. Great fun. Great fun. Send off Ballon Dawson, as they call him, which, you know, is a fun, good banter name, if you ask me. Doesn't really affect them. He's going to be fine for, you know, their European game. So they've already sort of thrown in the towel in many ways in the league, which is kind of fair enough. It's not even, you know, you, you know, this is an amazing opportunity for them to win the Europa League. I think they're possibly favourites. So, you know, go all in. Why not? He gets sent off. And by the way, this is good work from Romelu Lukaku. Like, it was great. You know, he, he's not going to run out of press, but he's going to turn in the chat. He's going to roll defenders. He's going to turn. He's going to run channels. He's useful. And he was useful here, and he did good work to have for Dawson to foul him to, to get in that penalty. And of course, Jorginho, not only did he miss the penalty, but this is possibly the worst penalty I've ever seen. <laughs> like, he, li he literally passes it so slowly, like, to Fabianski, like, there you go, there you go mate. You know, I will. I, 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 like, you know, people were taking the mick out of like Bruno Fernandes penalty because he like did the little like twinkle toes and passed it to the, the post. At least he hit the post. And if it goes in, it, he doesn't save it. Jorginho was like, nah, I don't really fancy this, mate. You can have it back. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, I was, I was tweeting. I was like, I was going to praise Rom. I was like, good work for winning that pen. But I, like, I better wait until we score the penalty. So it's like, you know, and I had to half my tweet like, good work. But that's one of the worst penalties I've ever seen. So what's that? 18, when's that penalty? That miss, like, must be eight, like, pushing into stoppage time. But in the 90th minute... We get the winner. Marcus Alonso does a really good cutback um, to Christian Pulisic. It's a nice assist. Gary Neville gave Marcus Alonso man of the match on uh, Sky Sports. You know, not saying much, though, because we weren't that great. And, of course, um, Christian Pulisic, left, I think his left foot finish tucks in the corner. It's a great goal, actually. It's a nice goal. I'm happy for Pulisic because um, it was... He's been, he was poor. He's been hot and cold like Ver him and Werner every now and again. I go, wow, that can be really useful in a, quite a similar profile way. Running the channels, causing havoc, uh, havoc, causing havoc and being that like inside goal scoring forward that, you know, like it's, just basically stresses out the opposition and can run in and score goals. They're slightly different, but, I, you know, every now and again, I alternate who I think the one's going to stay. And I'm not saying just because of this goal, you know, Pulisic is going to stay and be the one, but, you know, hudson Adoy, Pulisic, Ziyech, um, Werner, you know, who stays, who goes? Lukaku is probably the one that fits the least, but he could be when utilised... In a way, he could be the most effective, which is like almost ironic. Look, man, Mendy was fine, I guess. Cella, but in the, the whole back line were okay. I think they did weird passes. The midfield were poor. I don't know how who scored's given. You know, Mount was poor. He deserves that. But Kante and Jorginho, pff, neither of them were good, mate. Uh, the wing backs were okay. They were getting down the flanks and putting crosses in. But the forwards were not good. Havertz and v Werner, you know, they should be below six, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, Lukaku, I was quite pleased with. And Pulisic for getting the winner. What do you think? It's a stinky, stinky situation. Three massive points, though. The Arsenal were two points behind us. You know, maybe they were dreaming of third place. And we cannot let Arsenal dream of third place. Boys, I upload every day. Please consider subscribing. And feel free to check out other videos on this end card that follows. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me bitch